Hey, people. Coach Simmons here. I'll tell you something. Sometimes when you learn a lesson, you got to get it beaten out of you. After listening to everything going on this week, I have decided to stop taking that L. The swag is on something a little different right now. I listened to Coach Brown and his conference he had over there with um, Luther Campbell and Mr. Willie Simmons. And I was listening, but I wasn't hearing it. So now that I've actually heard it, I understand what's going on. The SWAC needs every institution to step up. We've been led by Jacksons, the Fams, the Gramlins, the Southerns for so long. Alabama a has the biggest budget. They leading too. If you saw the uh, basketball arena, they leading too. But if everybody steps up, Valley, UAPB, Bethune Cookman, Prairie View and TSU, what's going on? Alcorn, sorry, Alcorn. The SWAC will be the SEC of the FCS. Let me explain this to the boys in the back, or I guess the boy up north. Right now, it's Missouri Valley Conference, right? We get it. North Dakota State, South Dakota State, all the states up there, the cold states. We get it. But you cannot deny the transfer portal has been miraculous for the, for the SWAC. Most of the talent is coming to the SWAC. I guess if people look at it like, you know what? Do I want to leave Ohio State and go play in minus 40 degree temperature in the uh, winter time? I'll go to Tallahassee. Do I want to go play in a population of 10 in Ohio? I'll go to Houston. These are the things people are answering themselves right now. If the SWAT keeps getting talent, transfer portal or high school, right now they are attacking. I mean, they are attacking the hell out of social media. I can't go on Twitter each day without finding another SWAT school posting about the scrimmage, showing off their uh, new gymnasium. Coach is talking. Instagram the same way. Hell, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok. I might, I saw one on there in my space right now. The swag is taking over social media. The contracts expire very soon. Big Ten is now off of ESPN, which frees up $192 million. I'm not saying the SWAT getting the 192. I'm not saying that. But when those contracts come up and they built up their teams, they're in a position to negotiate the best contract deal. Right now, without being locked into any one particular deal for 10, 20 years, actually frees them up. Long term deal, if the SWAT is the SEC or the FCS, they will have more power, money-wise, than a group of five. I mean that. Coach Simmons, I'm out.